Howdy, it's Tony wearing my trusty cowboy hat like I always do. Okay, I just I just bought it. I just thought that maybe wearing hats could be like my new thing. What do you, what do you think? I do like the ocean. My heart belongs to the sea. <laughs> A ski cap? No, I just look cold. I'm the world's greatest artiste. My name is R. 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 Vincent. Excusez-moi. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Hi, it's Tony. You might remember me as the guy who used to be the hat guy, but now I'm just gonna be the guy that's reading the postcard. Here, let's see what it says. Dear Connect HQ, my family's moving soon. I'm worried I won't like my new school and I won't make new friends. Is everything gonna be okay? Can you help? From Cameron. Well, Cameron, dealing with change can be really hard. We actually had someone come through HQ with a very similar problem, just like yours. Hmm. You know, a few of us found ourselves losing hope for a while. Let me show you what happened. Okay, Deb, so this is Connect HQ's hub. It's like the central. It's like everything happens here. It's, a, it's the awesome place. Neat. You definitely wouldn't want an electrical malfunction to happen here, though. It would send your entire system crashing. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's probably true. Well, Deb, uh, what brings you to Connect HQ today? Um. I'm having trouble in school. Mm, tough classes? <laughs> well, I hope it's not spelling. I was never a good speller. No, the classes are fine. The problem is, I don't really have any friends. Oh, well, I'm sure Connect HQ can help you with that. Hmm. Hmm, let's see, maybe you could try... Do you scratch the top of your head a lot? Uh-huh, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's great that you aren't worried about a bald spot forming where you scratch. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not, not worried at all. <laughs> Um, oh, hey, you know, whenever I first came to Connect HQ, I had to make new friends. Really? How'd you do it? Well, uh, first I brought in coffee for everyone, um, and then I offered to drive the work carpool every day for a week. I had friends in no time. Coffee and, and driving, those are things grown-ups do to make friends? I'm a kid. Oh, yeah. Um, well, <laughs> don't worry. We'll, we'll, f we'll figure it out. Don't lose hope. Hope? What do you mean? Oh, well... Hope helps us imagine the future can be better and that we can do something about it. Are there any kids around here that could help me? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, oh, here's one now. Hey, Dot, this is Deb. Deb is having trouble making friends in school. <laughs> Hi, Deb. I'm happy to help. Friendships are so important. Oh, and Tony, Harper needs your help with something. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm on the way. <laughs> Don't you want to know where she is? I'll figure it out. This is hopeless. <sighs> I know things may feel that way right now, but try not to lose hope, Deb. No matter how bad things get, we always have Jesus, and Jesus is my best hope. Why do you say that? Because Jesus is always good, and that is never going to change. He will never fail us, and He is always working all things together for His good plan. I guess. Who's Harper? Oh, Harper is the greatest. We both started at Connect HQ when we were just kids. I love her. She's one of my best friends. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. What? Why? That's a good thing. Well, my mom told me that very few people stay friends after high school. Really? My mom doesn't have a single friend from high school. Friends move away and grow apart and lose touch. Oh, <laughs> that won't happen to us. So then, Harper will go to college, leave me, and she'll probably go somewhere really far away, like... Paris. Yeah, Paris. And she'll go on all these great adventures while I'm stuck here. And she'll make all sorts of new friends with fancy names, like... Jocelyn. Jocelyn! Dot. Yes, Deb! Sorry. When do we get to the part where I have hope? <sighs> Thanks again for your help, Tony. Deb, this is Harper. Harper, this is Deb. 
She's looking for some hope and trying to find some new friends. It's so nice to meet you, Deb. Are you okay, Dot? What does it matter? I love what you did with your hair. I bet that's the kind of thing you say to Jocelyn. Who's Jocelyn? I can't deal with that right now. I'm out of here. That was strange. Maybe I should just go home. I don't have much hope of getting help here. I'm sorry you're not feeling any hope. Maybe you could think of something that makes you excited. Something that makes you joyful? Really? Well, what are you excited about? Well, I'm on the basketball team at school, and tonight is my first game playing in a starting position. And you're excited about that? Sure. I've gotten a lot better since I first joined, and I'm excited to see how my hard work has paid off. It's great that you aren't afraid of going out there and getting hurt. Well, a few scraped knees are or to be- Or worse. You could cause some disastrous blunder that would cause you to lose the game, and then all of the teammates that were cheering you on turn their backs on you completely. I hadn't thought of it that way. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, you're Rodney. Yeah, I've seen your skip vision videos. Oh, wow, that's, that's great. Yeah, Vanessa's really good in those. Yeah, Vanessa is really good in those, isn't she? Yeah. I mean, I can't believe it's really you. You seem taller in the videos. Oh. Well, I hope it's not a disappointment meeting me. <laughs> <laughs> is someone helping you, or? I'm beyond help, beyond hope, really. Um, Tony, Dot, and Harper have all let me down. Oh, that's too bad. Well. You know, Vanessa and I just finished a new Skip Vision video all about finding hope when you're feeling let down. Can I show it to you? Sure. My favorite thing about the carnival is probably the food. I love the pretzels, and you love the cotton candy. Well, I like the blue cotton candy, but they were all out, so I had to settle for the pink. Well, let's go ride. All the rides. I know that'll cheer you up. Yeah, I saw on the TV today that the Sinister Cyclone is closed. It's down for repairs. That's the one I really wanted to ride. Hmm. Well, let's go play some carnival games. I know how much you love the ring toss. Yeah, I was just over there a few minutes ago, and I lost all my money trying to win that stuffed gorilla. Well, what do you want to do? I just want to go home. Ah, uh, we just got here. This place has really let me down. Oh. I'm sorry, Rodney. I know what that feels like. Last week, when I went to the aquarium, the penguin exhibit was closed. Oh. I felt really let down, too. What did you do about it? Well, I felt sad for a while. But then I remembered that I have hope in Jesus, and he will never let me down. If I put my hope in anything but Jesus, I'll always end up disappointed. Jesus never lets us down? Never. It's like it says in the Bible, in the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 3. It goes like this. 1 Peter 1, 3. 1 Peter 1, 3. He has given us a new birth and a living hope. He has given us a new birth and a living hope. This hope is living because Jesus Christ rose from the dead. This hope is living because Jesus Christ rose from the dead. When we put our faith in Jesus, he gives us a hope that is alive. And Jesus never lets us down. Not like some carnival ride that'll break down, or a game that's impossible to win, or a cotton candy machine that runs out of blue. When we choose to follow Jesus, he gives us a new way to live and a hope that is alive. Hope in Jesus is alive because he died for our sins, but he came back to life to give us a better future. Exactly. So, what would you like to do now? Well, I think I want to go see the Hall of Mirrors, but in case that's closed, we'll stop and reflect and find something else to do. And I would be happy to eat your pink cotton candy, since you like the blue so much better anyway. No, that's okay. I have a hope that I'm gonna like this a lot. <sighs> well, that's a disappointment. <sighs> so what'd you think, Deb? Do you wear platform shoes in the videos or like stand on a step or something? Um, no. I'm just as tall in the videos as I am in real life. Hmm.
¿Dónde está la biblioteca? Where is the library? ¿Cuál es el precio por esas tortugas? What is the price of those turtles? You must be Deb. Tony has told me all about you. I see you're working on your Spanish. Yes. Next year, I'm taking a trip to South America. I want to be fluent and talk to everybody in Spanish. I didn't know you were a teenager, Vanessa. Well, I haven't been a teenager in quite some time. Oh, that's too bad. My dad says that grown-ups can't actually learn new languages very well. Wait, what? Yeah, you probably should have started when you were a kid. Well, I'm gonna work really hard and hope for the best. That's great. And then after that, you can learn Portuguese. Portuguese? Well, they don't speak Spanish in Brazil, which is the largest country in South America. So if you want to speak to people in Brazil, you'll need to learn Portuguese. I did not know that. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Deb. Happy to help. Hey guys, has anyone seen Deb? I haven't seen her in a little while. Boy, everyone looks so sad. Why so down in the dumps? I'm going to lose all my friends. I can't compete with Jocelyn. I just know I'm going to choke. Tonight's game is going to be a disaster. It's not like I can get spine implants to make myself taller. Why didn't I just study Spanish in high school? I don't have time to learn Portuguese. It's hopeless. It's, it's hopeless. hopeless. Do you guys think that maybe you're putting your hope in the wrong things? What do you mean? Well, I think that we all need a little reminder that it's never truly hopeless when we have Jesus. Here, let's watch this. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive for the answers and godly advice. This book is alive. is alive. On the day Jesus rose from the dead, two of his disciples were walking to a village called Emmaus. Along the way, they met a traveler. The traveler noticed the disciples looked sad, so he asked them what was wrong. They told the traveler about how their friend, Jesus, had been killed just a few days earlier. And now, some people had told them that Jesus' body was missing and that angels had said that Jesus was alive. The two disciples didn't know what to do. They had lost all hope after Jesus' death and couldn't believe that he had come back to life. The traveler listened to their painful story. Then he shared a story with them. He explained everything the Old Testament of the Bible said about Jesus. His pain and death weren't a surprise. Moses and the prophets had all written that Jesus would suffer and then enter God's glory. As the traveler spoke, the disciples felt something strange. The more they listened, the more their hearts burned within them. Eventually, the three men reached a village. The disciples asked the traveler to stay with them for the evening, so he went in with them. When they sat down at the table to eat, the traveler took some bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to the two disciples. In that moment, the disciples' eyes were opened. The traveler was Jesus. He had been with them all along. As soon as they recognized him, he disappeared from their sight. The disciples were amazed. Jesus was alive. Their sadness was gone, and they had hope. They had to tell everyone the good news. Jesus met the disciples where they were. He understood their suffering because he suffered too. He listened to them, walked with them, and helped them have hope again. No matter what hard times we're going through, we can trust that Jesus is with us too. He listens to our prayers, walks alongside us, 
and speaks love and truth to us. By listening to Him, He'll heal us and give us back hope and joy. The disciples on the road to Emmaus knew what it was like to lose hope. They lost hope when Jesus died. And Jesus knew what it was like to suffer because He had walked with them, talked with them, and also helped them find hope. When the things we hope in let us down, our future can seem pretty hopeless, but we can always find hope with Jesus. He listens to our prayers. He speaks truth and love to us to strengthen our hope once more. You're right, Tony. I don't know why I lost my hope there for a second. I think we all did. Well, maybe instead of saying it's hopeless, try saying, Jesus is my best hope. Jesus is my best hope? Hey, Deb, I didn't see you there. How are you doing? I don't know. I see all the hope that you have. Has our hope maybe given you some hope to find some friends? Maybe. Well, that's a start. I decided to join the cooking club at school. I love to bake, and maybe I can make some new friends there. That sounds great. Deb, I'll be your friend. Anytime you need someone, I'll be right here. Me too. Me three. Me four. <laughs> and I'll be your friend too, Deb. Five friends in one day. I hope I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Hope starts by imagining that the future can be better and that we can do something about it. We can have hope in lots of things. We can put hope in making new friends, uh, learning a new skill, earning money, or being a responsible person. The verse that we learned earlier shows us that the best kind of hope that we can have is when we hope in Jesus. Here, the verse goes like this. 1 Peter 1, 3. He has given us a new birth and a living hope. The hope is living because Jesus Christ rose from the dead. The disciples thought all hope was gone when Jesus died. But when they realized that he had risen from the dead, their hope was restored. Deb came in with no hope of ever making friends. We all can lose hope when the things that we put our hope in disappoint us. Friendships, our abilities, and our confidence can all let us down. But Jesus will never let us down. He was trustworthy in the past, can be trusted now, and will stay faithful forever. That's why Jesus is my best hope. You can put your hope in Jesus today. Reach out anytime. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. I thought I'd give hat wearing one more try. I ran out of hats though. Maybe the perfect hat will come along in the future. It's something I can always hope for. Speaking of hope, Jesus really is my best hope. Do you wanna put your hope in Jesus? You can do that today. All you have to do is remember your ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, Tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. If you decided to follow Jesus today, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos from the Connect Crew.